Welcome to JASP Tutorials. Today I'll show you how to use JASP to interact with the Open Science Framework. With our new feature, you can easily publish your JASP results to the OSF while keeping track of recent changes through its version control system. The Open Science Framework is a free, collaborative, open web application that can be used to document, register, and share your research projects, your study materials, and your raw data. Made possible by an OSF Incubator grant, JASP offers seamless interaction with the Open Science Framework. First, I'll show you how to publish JASP analyses directly onto the OSF. To do this, go to the File tab, select Save As, and log in with your OSF account. If you don't have an OSF account, you can register by clicking on the link at the bottom of the page. Once you're logged in, you can select the project where you want to publish your results and export them as a .jasp file. Next, I'll show you how to view a JASP output from the OSF. For this, we go to the OSF homepage and log in to our account. In the dashboard, you can see all the projects we're contributing to, and by clicking on a specific project, you can see its associated files. From the OSF, you can preview a .jasp file and immediately see the results and comments made by you and your collaborators. Note that people can see these results without needing their own OSF account. They also don't need to have JASP installed on their machine. To better keep track of your changes, every file has a version number. This means that as you and your collaborators change a file, the version number will be iteratively updated. For instance, just now one of my collaborators added a classical ANOVA to my analyses, and subsequently the version of my file changed. If you need to go back to a previous version of a data file, you can do this by clicking on Version. Once you do, all previous versions of the file will be shown and are available for download. You can open files that are stored on your OSF account directly into JASP. This is particularly useful for peer reviewing analyses within your team. To do this, go to the File tab and log in with your OSF account. Select the project and then select the file you want to open in JASP. For instance, I'll now add to the analysis done by my colleague. First, I'll add a Bayesian ANOVA to the classical one from earlier. Let's add some descriptive plots for good measure. Now I'll also add an annotation to the analysis to explain what I included and why. Once we're happy with the results, we just go to File, select Save As, and select the JASP file that we're updating. That's all it takes to update the .jasp file in your OSF repository. Now your collaborators will be able to see the changes you made in their own browser, as well as see the updated version number. Suppose your colleague has edited the data file on the OSF. To incorporate the updated data file into your analyses, all you have to do is synchronize your data with your OSF project folder. To do this, go to File, Sync Data, OSF, and select the updated file. A keyboard shortcut for this feature is Control-Y on Windows or Command-Y on Mac. The sync feature will update the data in the spreadsheet panel of JASP and also rerun the analyses with the up-to-date information. We can now save the file again to the OSF. Now everybody can see the latest results with the new data in their browser. Again, this preview functionality allows anybody to see the output without having JASP installed. As a last step, we'll make our project public which means that everybody now has access to our uploaded files. We can even share the whole project folder by using the Share button. If we click on the .jasp file, 
we can share our output on social media, for instance on Twitter or Facebook. By adding OSF support to JASP, we hope to facilitate collaboration, openness, and reproducibility of analyses. For more in-depth tutorials, you can subscribe to the JASP YouTube channel or follow the link in the description to go to our website. Thanks for watching.